I am so excited for our next guest, uh, a dear friend and uh, someone who I sadly only see through events, but it's a beautiful <laughs> event that brings us together. Sally Musa, international speaker and presenter. So happy to have you here at MB MBRF podcast. How are you? It's fantastic to see you again, Azza, and always at the best of events. We're here yes. at the Knowledge Summit and True. Uh, it's an incredible, incredible event every single year. Definitely 100%. Sadi, with being an international speaker, presenter, with a lot of rapid technology change, AI, a lot of things that we're living in today, fast exchanging of information, all that. Is that, you think, in the career you're in, it, it may change or affect the field you're in? Do you know, I get asked this question all the time, and yeah. especially when I'm talking to young people as well, yes. and they're wondering about what career to take, where to go, where to go. Yeah. And, you know, they might want to become a presenter yes. uh, and that might be something that they want to do. And do you know what's really interesting? Yes, there's a lot of uh, technology that's coming up. AI is one of them. And, and we, we've seen a lot of people um, uh, respond to that, to the way that AI can almost replace anything. Yes. However, at the same time, what what I say to everybody is the one thing that AI can't replace is that human connection and the human touch. And I hope that that is what we bring. You're in the same position as me. And it is about connecting with people and connecting with people on a soul level where we truly understand them. We speak to what it is that excites them. We speak to their dreams, their hopes, their fears in such a way that AI, I don't think, Cannot will really ever be yeah. able to do it. To be very honest, when I spoke to a couple of people who are in the field of media or a different kind of field, telling them, you know, oh, AI may remove certain jobs, may replace, and they all said, it's actually working together as a, right. I think it's how we take it, how yes. we can use it. Yes. But taking over, I mean, Sally, we said that off mic before, and okay, certain positions or certain job, which anyways, maybe we won't need, it may, but we can, learn how to work with it to the benefit of our job, if exactly. that makes any sense. Exactly. What's really interesting is, you know, Stephen Hawking said yeah. that intelligence is the ability to adapt with change, to move with change, so true. you know, and the world is changing all the time. And I think what we all have to do, no matter what field we're in, is to understand the change that is happening, to move with it, to adapt, to shift, to pivot. Um, and, and to work with that in such a way that we're able to harness it and take advantage of the change rather than just become victims of it. And being an international speaker and presenter, did you feel with all the new technology, you're adapting to that technology in terms of your career path? You have to, there's just no other way to do it, that you, you yeah. have to be part of it. And you know, AI is incredibly useful, you know, in lots of different ways. And uh, it's up to us to understand how it fits for all of us. Yeah. I mean, telling me a couple of years ago when uh, I, I had, I think a couple of years ago, I did a show from home. Mm. It was, they literally created a whole online exactly. studio from home. Yeah. And I'm like, see guys, at the same time, it's still needed, it can work to benefit us in terms of we can work from home, yes, or right. makes our job easier, or certain question when I want to research and stuff, I exactly. can get it from different platform and ways exactly. and technology. Exactly, I mean, the pandemic showed us yeah. that technology is so incredibly yeah. useful. We were able to be in touch with people that it would have been impossible to That's do it otherwise, true. right? And so exactly in that way, uh, it is going to make life easier yeah. uh, as well for us. Sally, as an international speaker, speaking at TEDx and a lot of uh, summits, how does that help in sending your message and your influence? You know what? Events like the Knowledge Summit are just so incredibly powerful because you have speakers, global speakers yeah. from all over the world who are coming here and connecting their ideas, connecting their experiences. And we get to learn from them. We get to learn from one another in such a way that there's this incredible exchange that happens. True that wouldn't happen in any other way, where when we get together, we experience such a diversity of thinking, a diversity of ideas, innovations that we might not have come across, True. Points, of view, points of view that we might not have come across. And all of that is just incredibly enriching for True. all of us. And it, I, I mean, you know, for me, I'm Iraqi, Australian. I did my TEDx uh, in Morocco. True. You know, this incredible way that we get to connect with people all, of, all over the world through True. platforms like this is incredibly powerful, but not just that, it's essential. 
it's essential. I don't think we realize how interconnected we all are in the world. So true. And we have to really see each other in such a way that we understand we're actually so much more alike than sure. we think to begin with. And where we are different, actually we complete each other. We 100%. need each other in our differences. We support each other in that way. So I think and, it's just powerful. And as well, doing events like that where I hear you speech and I get inspired to something or suddenly I hear something that Sally said on, spe on stage and I'm like, oh, I never thought about it this way or doing like say a podcast and talking about yeah. different kind of topics. You never know who may need to hear something or be there in that right time for exactly. a reason, you know? Exactly. So it is very important to do all the summits and talks and especially coming from an international speaker like you, Sadi. Being a global and you, Raza. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I mean, likewise. Being a global ambassador, I'm sure you have a lot of uh, younger generation um, who look up to you, who want to know with the knowledge is everywhere. Because like one of the questions like, what's knowledge? Knowledge is around us everywhere. It depends how you need it, how you use it, what's your background, your where you are. But with the with the the vast rapid of information and knowledge and everything that's happening, what's your advice as a global ambassador to this new younger generation with everything that's happening around so fast? You know what? I think we have to try to keep up with the innovations that are happening. But beyond that, Innovations are all around us and technological advancements are all around us and they're incredibly fast. They're there. What's really important though is that we cannot lose the fact of our humanity, who we are. I was doing a panel okay. today. We were talking about the, the influence of academic institutions, universities uh, on knowledge cities. And yeah, we're learning about incredible technological advancements, but are we becoming better human beings in the process? True. This is what we really have to focus on because technology will always be changing. There'll always be something new. True. And it's actually not that hard to, to you know, keep really up with it. To or, keep yeah, up with it. It's there. But the touch of being a human. Whether we like it or not, it's going to be part of our lives. But what we really have to work hard at and be really conscious of is the intention behind this technology. What's the intention behind this? You know, when you look at people like Jeffrey Hinton, who were part of developing AI and saying, I really fear for what could happen if we are not intentional in the right oh, way, yeah. or Mo Gaudat, or so many who really, they were the people who developed this technology and saying, yeah. we really need to come back to who we are as people because that is going to determine our next move True. in technology and innovation and whether it's going to serve us or, or we are us. going to serve yeah. it. Amazing. So go back to who we are is what we need to do. Go Sally. back to our humanity. Exactly. <laughs> Sadi Musa, thank you so much for being with us here in MBRF podcast. It was lovely chatting with you and I wish you have a beautiful rest of the day. Thank you so much. What an absolute joy and a pleasure to sit with you, Azza. This was amazing. Thank you so much, Sally. Thank you.